Gandhi saw all Hindu demigods as a fraction of the one true God. He did not uh, commit idolatry. He basically revamped uh, the religion to make a whole lot more sense. And uh, personally, I thought that was a beautiful concept of, uh, of God, looking at little uh, uh, aspects of him in, in terms of uh, dynamics of his personality. But I would like to take that one step further. Not only are little demigods aspects of the one true God, how about every second of your life being an aspect, sort of like a demigod that represents a part of the one true God? In other words, what I am saying here is every second of your life, every minute should be saturated with love and truth and goodness and all that uh, is embraced by the Godhead. What I am saying here is we should unequivocally live love every second of our lives. Dynamics, five dynamics. Here we are. Not a whole lot to that. Secondly, there it is, life. Thirdly, here is our response to life. How do we respond? There's, I have four different ways essentially, and we all know everybody is a very, very unique individual and everybody has their own specific way of responding to, to life, but there's four general ways of responding to uh, who and what we are and where we are at. The first one is negative or violence. We respond with violence. Secondly, we respond by manipulating, controlling the situation. Violence never gets you anywhere and anybody who uh, is a control freak or has that tendency, you'll realize eventually that the more you attempt to control something, the more it is beyond your control, the more you are going to lose it. It's just like the little child in the lake chasing the ball, and the more the ball uh, is chased and pursued by the kid, the further it goes away. The only way to get that ball really is to let uh, the wind, God, blow it to you. We should not uh, be violent, we should not manipulate, and we should not be dishonest towards each other. A lie is the opposite of love. In love, there is truth. So, fourthly, how do we respond? Love. This is the fourth way we can potentially respond to life. I suggest we do this. Let love become who we are, and guess what? As a result of love becoming who we are, our history is formed and we can look back at ourselves and it's not self-centered it's not a uh, negative it's not destructive we do not i wrote this sermon quite a few years ago called the slug line and basically when a slug uh travels across the sidewalk of life it leaves this uh trail of sledge of, of crap essentially we do not want to do that with our lives we want to create a history that's beautiful and and wonderful and the people around us, we want them to be better off for knowing us, not scarred for life. So there we are. There it is, life. We respond to it. It becomes our history. And as our loving uh, reactions to things become our history, we are formed. And we are formed into something uh, good and worthwhile. Uh, most people over the age of 40, 50 years old, give or take, have erection difficulties if you're a guy and have trouble sleeping at night these things happen these are symptoms sometimes yes it's biological sometimes it's medical but quite often these things are symptoms that something fundamentally is wrong with your existence what we want to do is live a good wholesome life uh, full of love in every respect. I had this publication, it just ended last year, and it was an organic publication. And what I mean by that was the publication was there not necessarily simply to make money, uh, although it did, it was there, uh, this uh, small business was there to basically love people. It was an expression of love to, to people. And, and this was very, very incongruent with uh, the way people perceive life, but it worked. And I have those eight years of doing that publication. And guess what? When I think back at that time, it was a wonderful time. And good relationships and uh, healing and, and, and self-esteem and all these good things came out of that publication. If I had used that publication to get what I want and that was it, uh, 
I just couldn't, I wouldn't be up here talking about it right now, would I? We want ultimately to love every second of our lives. Every second is a blessing and it should be spent in a way that not only enriches ourselves, but enriches everyone around us. This is the love guru. Have a nice day.